All right, everyone is excited to go in the backyard because we've been seeing a lot of movement back here. So we think there's gonna be a lot of updates. So we got Mama, Taika right there. And the first thing that you can notice is they're removing these pavers and they're stacking them nicely because we're about to swap these bad boys out with the big uh, porcelain pavers over here. These really nice ones over here. And the reason why they're stacking them nicely is in the front yard, we're gonna expand the driveway. So to kind of be, you know, cost efficient, we're like, why don't we just use the pavers in the back for the front because it's the same pavers. You okay, dude, you tripped on the rope? Hey, mister, are you okay? Actually, is the rope okay? Mama, can you check if the rope's okay? Oh, no, not the rope. Ooh, you okay? Mia? Yeah. So they got these little ropes to, to show where the, um, the pavers and the grass is going to be. And, ooh, look at that, Mama. They got the whole border down. Oh, yes, baby. Look at that. Looks nice. You alright, dude? No? Oh, no. What are we going to do? I got to take you to the hospital. They did? Our pool's taking shape. So over here we got the hot tub. Where? Yep, we're gonna have a cool fireplace, dude. We can roast marshmallows. Isn't that cool? And we can make, and we can make, and we can make quackers. Yep, make quackers. Right here. That's where the fireplace is gonna be. Don't step on that, okay, monkey? Yeah, it's still wet, as it's you can see. Wet. It's very wet. But they're putting these little steps up. Ooh, I like this little oh area right here. I'm so glad our neighbors are doing their yard too. So they put up the, they made the fence a little bit higher, which is yeah. perfect because now that we stand here, we would have seen it in our backyard for sure. Oh, that's true. And they made it higher, so we get to reap the reward of that. It's wet, dude. You can tell it's wet. Why are you stepping on it? Go oh, over and there. Then I think your fireplace area, I mean, your uh, cooking area is going to be over there. Oh, yeah. yeah some of the furniture is here now. All right. So this is uh, not furniture. I messed up the appliances. We got a little fridge for our backyard kitchen, and we got the all new Somerset Sizzler Pro, baby. It looks like it's gonna come out to here, right? Yep. Do you even know what the Somerset Sizzler Pro is all about? Do you even know what the Somerset Sizzler Pro is about? No, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's gonna come out here. Sizzler. So they got the gas line, they got the electricity, plug yeah, it all up. Be here somewhere. We can start roasting and grilling yeah, on the you backyard. Stay roasting, bro. Nah, -uh. rude. You're but we can meal prep, make yummy food back here while everyone's hanging out and chilling. Oh, just even feeling like all the wind and us hanging out back here. Yeah, the only bummer. It feels really good already. The only bummer is we're in what? May, the end of May. Yep. Beginning of July. July is when it starts getting so hot. So I wish they would have just done this a little bit sooner so we can enjoy it right now because the weather. But is we get to enjoy it right when it hits like September too. Perfect. True. That's when it gets beautiful again. Okay, quick little update while I'm working. And I wanted to capture this because I am going out of town and I'm scared there's gonna be so much progress that I can't even catch up all the little steps that they did. So they removed all the pavers now, as you can see, and they laid a layer of gravel and sand and they're making it wet so that this guy can go around and make everything super even. Because after this step, they're gonna put all those porcelain and start laying it. And it's the same porcelain that we see on the far end of the pool. You see that light gray over there? And we chose that because we really wanted to brighten up the backyard. So right now, most of our house is brown. That was something we could not choose because um, we got this house. I wouldn't say like in the beginning, beginning, because if you choose it at the, if you get the house at the beginning, beginning of a new development, you could choose like 99% of everything. We got it after I would say like phase one. So we were able to choose like 90%, which is everything that you see like on the inside but the outside we couldn't choose. So the outside is that brown, that wall is brown, the dirt's brown. I guess the mountains back there are brown. So it was a very brown house. So we wanted to like brighten it up, kind of like what we did with the inside. Like in here, everything looks very bright and it's still neutral tones, but it's just like um, with like pops of color, but it's like a very bright feel. And we wanted to carry that bright feel into the outside so we're ch we chose that porcelain that's gonna reflect the sun. It's gonna look really nice coming from this tile going out there and the whole backyard is gonna be really bright. I see like more and more uh, workers coming in. So that makes me extremely happy. Oh, 
because for a while there's only one guy working and i think he's probably doing like the more delicate stuff but i think they're building the outdoor kitchen now which is tight look at that Ooh la la here we go here we go it's coming together all right day three update three because the workers just left which means it's time for us to spy on our own house and see what is go going on so first of all they got this super soft sand that they put everywhere i think it's like a leveling type of sand oh you see that look at that oh oh that's for the awning hey monkey do you know what an awning is it's gonna be this little roof that comes down to keep us nice and cool in the shade for the outdoor kitchen and dining area oh dang look at that looking pretty good we're gonna be grilling yep grilling and chilling <laughs> i knew it yeah <laughs> the, the fridge goes right there girl goes right there got that somerset sizzler pro i've been saying and then they started expanding on these tiles look at that Ooh. hey monkey don't step on it okay because i don't know what they want what they're supposed to do so it's probably something very specific yep dingy 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 yep papa just told you i just told get off <laughs> oh my goodness see why you gotta say something the same thing a million times don't touch anything, don't touch anything. i literally just told you okay Come here, Mia. Come here. Cuny. You like your new backyard? You like your new backyard? It matches your fur colors. What are you sniffing around in there? Don't mess up their string, dude. All right, following the family outside. Yeah, day 225 of day working four. On day four of this vlog. So day 225 of the whole I know, they padded this series. Down. Remember it was um Oh yeah, it was all, all bumpy. Yeah, so I think they're getting ready to lay the tile over here. Oh my, oh my goodness, almost tripped. What was that? Oh, a post? Okay. That's what happens when you vlog and walk at the same time. Oh, fine. Okay. Ooh, a lot more tile has been laid. Hey, uh, no. Why do you always got to step on mounds? I know why, but I still have to ask them a parent. Ooh la la, jean quoi? Look at all this beautiful tile. Dang, this is nice. Oh, cool. That's how they're doing what it. The, what the, I, remember I told you, I was like, wait, I think they're doing it wrong. Unless they're going to place it and then move, move. Oh, so they're placing and it and then cutting. cutting it. Yeah, so oh, this is all going to okay. be like a planter. Yeah, so originally we thought they messed up because hey. um, what we really Stop liked cutting. about the design is that there is bits and pieces of vegetation in between like the hardscaping yeah so there's planters and then so when we saw them building it from over from inside we're like uh it's this is all one. hardscape like where's the softscape i didn't even and know then, he just put it in there i didn't even ask for it he, yeah. was, he was like this is gonna look good so he would break it all up so here isn't that beautiful we're just gonna have random green right here yeah so that's gonna be awesome you can see that they already drew the line they're gonna <laughs> cut so there is gonna be like the vegetation here so it breaks it up so it's just not hard surfaces everywhere but this looks freaking dope look at the monkey man over there cuny so yeah we got all this laid out now and then what happens now is we got all, all this. this so it's gonna curve as you can see the sand yeah so this is gonna be curved oh yeah that, that yellow so line i specifically did not want like super angular like hard corners hard edges yeah i wanted everything to flow and like have a lot of movement and curves. Yeah. So those, they're gonna start cutting the tile this way. So it's just like fold everywhere. All of this is gonna be the turf area. And then what's really cool is this right here, it's gonna break up all the monotony, if you will, of just all this gray. Oh, what the? <laughs> she always runs and points her snout in her crotch. Must, Why do you must see that? smell funny in there. <laughs> no, she's like, I have no comeback. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you see here, this yeah. is all gonna be walkway. Ooh. So that's why it's not pressed here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Stop all soft. Stop it! Oh, that's pounded over there. <laughs> say something. <laughs> oh, you say something then. <laughs> okay. Is my answer. And then we didn't do this one yet. Oh yeah, this platform's built. 
which is hey. ooh la la. Look at that. You're gonna, you need to calm down. Yeah, this cool platform. This thing is nice. Is ready to rock? So here we're gonna have our fire pit. Yep, our little fire pit goes right there. Get the chill. Yep. Yeah. I have a statue. And our favorite part is that this whole backyard feels very inclusive because you could have the fireplace here, so the fire but then you're facing here. the house and, and people in the hot tub. And you can yeah, grill over there. Cover. Yeah, there's a cover over there, Mama's saying. Turf right here. Yep. Then it's going to be the tile again. This is all going to be covered. Papa's going to be grilling. I'm going to be grilling over there. How are you guys doing? You guys want something else? And then right here, we're going to have a big old table. Yeah, big dining table right there. Yep. Yeah. And then here, it's just, we're going to have like chairs and stuff. Chairs. Yeah, Mama gets to read all her books in her, uh... She loves books. She does. Mama loves to read. That's cool, Yeah, huh? why is your microphone there? Because it's put on the side so we can hear you. Oh, uh, wait. Guys, do you want to see, see this cool trick I can do? What? What you can do? You go two steps. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over there. Okay, go. Let me see. Yeah, I might... Oh, Ooh, nice job. Show but yeah, show this is the progress. Show them your cooking. Progress so far. Here's the cooking station. It's a built-in grill, which is freaking cool because um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this already, but yeah, they laid the cement, direct gas line right there into the house. So no propane needed, no charcoal, like it'll literally operate like a stove, which makes cooking really easy. And if you ever cooked outside, you can make a big mess. You don't care. You just take a hose, spray everything out. So super easy to clean. And in this uh, section, I'm going to have a fridge too. So it'll be really easy to prep for barbecues because one of the biggest pains in the butt is when you buy all the meat and all the stuff and you're going to cook outside, you have to constantly either bring it in and out and in and out or you got to get a cooler. But now when we have barbecues or people hanging out, I could have drinks just stocked. I could have the, the carne asada in here already. It doesn't have to take up any space in the inside fridge. So I'm really really excited about that that one is gonna get covered so look this is one specific tile the water line and that line the different the different tile i don't know if you can see the difference so that one's way more white yeah so that tile we're putting it on your cooking station too. yeah at the bottom Free that brown part so, yeah so the whole thing will tie in and really then nicely. we're gonna add a bunch of rocks like so this will all be white down this, here too yeah we're gonna cover this wall and then we're gonna get a bunch of plants to cover up that wall. So that'll be all green, all white. Well, green for plants, not because we color it green. I think they are gonna take it like that. I hope so, I wouldn't. Yeah, Do and then it'll be a very modern Mediterranean look, which is what we're trying to go for. Right, Taika? Yeah, can I, can I go to, um, to the pool? No, there's a bunch of nails in there. But I can, I can just jump. Okay, I don't know what day this is, but we got an update and this one's really cool because we've been watching them carve all day and the backyard is starting to take shape and look at me Mrs. standing here in front of me yeah, she's like, Wait. what do you want from me young lady oh what are you drinking some good mango drink yeah so check it out so right here we're gonna have plants we're gonna plant some plants here yeah like a nice little tree which yeah. we think is super cool i think it's a really unique feature Cause now we're bringing like the outside kind of in a little bit usually like when you're underneath like this patio thing there's no plants but we want it to like have pretty much the whole house feel like one like inside outside big happy family so we got plants being planted right here in this under this patio area and plant so that's gonna get pulled in from right there too oh, you guys are still here. Hey, Mama. we jumped the gun no worries let's keep uh, going and then there's this so this is what they've been carving all day. It's nice and curved, cool design. And look at that. Look at that. It's all curved all the way around like that. And then we've got this cool little walkway that's curved all the way over there too. It's all done by hand too. I know, isn't that cool? Like you could see the red and the way that um, yeah, they're, like, they're coloring it. The mark. So it really kind of like softens it up because uh, in the last couple of um, takes or like clips, you'll see that you just see all stone right and so it just feels like a rock hard backyard obviously we don't have any of the vegetation in but once you start seeing the curvatures kind of just like smooths it out once you start getting the vegetation the green the turf it's gonna look so nice look at how it's curved here that's here there's gonna be more plants in this area this already got cut 
Yeah, so this is my favorite part of the design, bringing the like landscaping and the softscape into the hardscape over there too. That's where all the plants are gonna be. So having this like juxtaposition of like hard textures with plants, it's gonna look good. And then here, we just, we literally just came back from it now. Um, we just picked out our stone that's gonna cover this whole wall. So that's gonna be really great. And then we're gonna uh, add a bunch of plants. I feel like we've seen the same thing over and over. Shh. What? I, I saw water and there were bugs in there and pee, pee water. Pee water? Mia, 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 come here. Can I, can I run around my cookie by myself? No, I'll help you. Please. I'll help you. Okay, if in the last take I had no idea what day it is, I for sure don't know what day it is. But I do know that this is like the very, very last step before they start really making the backyard come to life. So in the last take, you guys saw how they did all the curves. Well, look at this. Now they sealed it with concrete. So this whole thing is now permanently in place. All the curves, all of that, they started to level the ground because that's where we're going to put the turf and everything. And the biggest, biggest change, okay, comes on this side, which is pretty freaking cool. Because they're about to lay down concrete on this. So if you guys look from back in the day, there was like a big, like, like little drain area because it was just rough dirt. But now today they flattened it and the whole day the house was shaking. Because they have to do this thing that pounds the floor so that it stays like rock solid so that they could lay the cement on it. See, look, even when I step, like you don't really see sand or dust like really popping off because it's been pounded into the floor. And this is gonna be all turf and they're doing like a really cool design that's curved like that. Oh my God, what are you doing over there? I swear to God, all this dirt is gonna be so well fertilized because that's where she's been pissing and shitting. But you know how our backyard, has like this whole curve theme right like from all that grass over there this pathway over here so all of this is going to be grass and it's cool that it's not just a hard line it's curved on this side too and um probably by the end of next week we're going to see this entire back part get filled with cement this is going to be a planter for bushes so we'll have like tons of privacy and uh this is why, because you guys know I'm a freaking meathead, but the reason why I'm so excited is once they put the concrete here, that is like the first major step of building our outdoor gym. So this whole area from that wall all the way up to like maybe like here is about 30 feet. We're going to build a patio cover that comes over. And so we're going to store our gym out here. So it'll kind of be almost like we have our own like outdoor Venice. And I love training outside, especially in the beautiful, like Vegas weather. In the summer, it's gonna be crazy. So that's like, that might be like just one month where it's like peak heat, but the rest of the year is gonna be amazing. And when we're out here studying this, I didn't realize, but our backyard from this angle has the sickest view. Watch, check it out. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Feels like we just like, live in like Colorado or like Utah or something. But like this is the edge of the city. Like we literally live at the very, very edge of the city. And as I walk over here, which I've showed you guys before, um, but we can see the strip. Let me, let me run. Uh, 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 Mia is so athletic, she's crazy. But yep, all the way over here. So we live at the very edge of the city. See the strip down there. See the mountains over here. And this is our backyard. So that'll be it for this vlog. Can't wait to show you guys the next one about the house where it's going to be a major, major update. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like early 20s, late 20s um, watching this channel. If any of you guys have any questions about building homes 
or backyards, pool, landscaping, financing, loans, all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to share anything I've ever gained. Um, so leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. All right, peace.